Just give me liberty or give me But I'm Kevin O'Neill. I'm with Turn to Liberty.com. Oh, Susie's here. Fabulous Susie. Look at that. She's got the props. Props to Susie. Turn to Liberty.com. Spending some time, sweat, and effort here covering what these other great people have done. Um, check out these websites. Uh, the 911TAP.org is really going to be a group that tries to organize all the other disparate organizations. A and E 911 Truth is architects and engineers for 911 Truth. That is the powerhouse research group that has really kept the light on for reinvestigating uh, the disaster of September 11, 2001. And LC for 911. We're going to give it up for lawyers, the lawyer committee for 911 Truth. I think the last word's inquiry, if I remember correctly. These are all shortened websites. They have, you know, 30 character websites like a lot of us do, but check them out. We got the lovely Susie doing her thing for Liberty. Say hi, everybody, Susie. Uh, again, we got the uh, Tampa Police Department right down the street here. Various folks hanging out at the benches. And the main, main organizer are these folks. Um, let me see if I can get their name straight as I'm walking around. I think this is the, the organization that's uh, um, 911tap.org, which stands for uh, Truth Action Protect, Truth Action Protect. And um, just to give you the quick tour on some of these things, uh, one of the big deals we're doing is the Bobby McEvane Act. This is Bobby himself, this is his parents. And uh, there's an effort to get uh, legislation passed through Congress to reinvestigate it. So if the bill gets what's put onto the uh, schedule, I believe it's called, in Washington, D.C., then committees can be organized to which they can fund an investigation. That's one option. Um, one of these signs is seat the grand jury. Seat the grand jury. This is our good friend Holden. This is look at the work this guy's doing. He's got four signs up. He's amazing. <laughs> we are uh, aware of the grand jury option. So we have uh, that LC for 911.org, which is the lawyer committee trying to see the grand jury. Back in April, they filed. And um, the answer needs to be produced today by the United States attorney up in Manhattan Southern District. And I'm trying to remember the guy's name. It's like Hayden or something like that, uh, the actual person's name. Uh, of course, we've got the Trump for Truth thing. Uh, that gentleman, Donald J. Trump, our president, did say he would reinvestigate 9-11-2001 to find the truth. So let's see if Trump's for truth or not. So, fabulous job. Sir, would you be interested in doing an on-the-street interview? Absolutely, 100% yes. Uh, well, my name is Claudio Marti. I'm from the uh, I Am The Face of Truth campaign. I'm here with Trina with a whole bunch of awesome advocates, 9-11 Truth advocates, and uh, we're out here doing our best to wake up the general public, at least the passer, passerbys, and handing out flyers, uh, holding up signs, but you got to make the truth look popular. We have no choice. The lies are too popular. That's our job. we got, we got to make the truth look popular. So it'd be cool. It's cool to know the truth. It is, cool it, is, it is, well, we're living in an illusion. We're living in a real life movie and it's not, the, the script is not in our favor. And there's exploitation of humanity on every single scale. Uh, war is the norm. Peace is um, for the hippies. <laughs> peace, what is that? Yeah peace is, yeah, peace is what it's supposed to be like. I mean, it, number one, if you expose the cabal, there'll be peace on earth. We'll expose the, the media, of it's course. It's a cabal, it's a gang. It's like in Brooklyn, we used to fight gangs. They had all kinds of names. Brooklyn. Yeah, and they had the, you know, the members were from different, you know, from Queens and so on. But they, they consisted a gang of a gang. But there were some gangs that were pretty cool. <laughs> but so, there were some gangs that were really bad. Central New York accent. We're down here in Tampa, Florida. But um, which, uh, were you up there in 2001 by chance? I was there. I saw the both towers come down from the rooftop in Brooklyn. Wow. And uh, each one that came down, we says, oh my God, they're blowing it up. I mean, at the top of our lungs. They're blowing it up. 
you know, we are, my background is construction. I do marketing. I've been doing marketing for the last 20 years. But my roots is, mar is uh, uh, blue collar. And we know building construction. We know how robust buildings are. You need to, it's like what we were saying, like, you needed 20 planes to knock those buildings down, maybe, uh, or possibly they would be still, uh, still be standing today. They had to blow them up. But then you turn on the TV. And then it, all that brainwashing, all of that common sense, all of that in intellect goes right out the window because we have been indoctrinated to believe, you know, what, what comes out of that TV. And, and, of course, politicians just follow their script. And 2011, I woke up. Uh, moving sets, lids, lights, uh, yeah. beautiful reporters sitting on the TV telling us the end of the world has come. We must go to war. That's right. They do it with a smile and a TV commercial. And, uh, and, it, as, and, and they entertain us, and uh, they, they put little cute little, little, little doggy uh, things in between to kind of fool you that they're really friendly. They're not. They want to exploit every man, woman, and child. I mean, the, the news media is nothing but a propaganda machine. It's a marketing campaign and, and, and working in unison with politicians, and they follow a certain script. And then, of course, you know, that's what you're presenting to the general public, and that's what the general public believes. You can't possibly believe there's so much evil in this world that could possibly take over our government and the media. So it's hard to believe people like us, but it's people like us that are stepping up and we're little by little waking one person up at a time. It's like what we say all the time. Once somebody knows the truth, the lies no longer have power over them. We need to make the truth popular. We have no choice. There's and a lot of things that do that. I mean, even the people who, who signed up for military service willingly were basically lied to the week before they signed up for military uh, service. Yes, these, we, these, are, these are technically patriots, but they've been lied to. We have in our campaign, and I am the face of truth, we've got some military people that, that you know have suffered mentally because they knew that it was an inside job from the get-go because they were part of the intelligence apparatus. They kind of heard it through the grapevine that it was a setup. And they went to war anyway, and they wound up killing people. And they came back completely messed up. But they're advocates right now. And uh, these guys know firsthand that the corruption is real, uh, the evil took over, and it's people like us that need to take a stand. And you got to, you know, before you know, before you can make something acceptable, you got to make it popular first. You got to work on making the truth popular. Wear a 9/11 T-shirt anytime, you know, as many you know, times or many occasions as you can. And uh, hand out a flyer here and there, you know? Don't, 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 don't give a glass of water with a fire hose. I generally say, look up false flag, look up what a false flag is, then revisit 9-11. I've been saying that for the last year and a half. More people respond to that than any other thing that I've ever, you know, any other approach I've ever used to wake up somebody regarding 9-11. So uh, people on radio won't be able to see your t-shirt, but is there any websites they can put people on, learn a bit more about you? what your organization's doing and who you're trying to help out? Well, we're working with the 9-11 TAP. Of course, we, we, we promote the lawyers. Uh, without the lawyers, by the way. 9-11 Yes, 9-11 TAP.org. LC, 9-11. Did I get it right? Yeah, I think it's LC4, 9-11. Yes, uh, yes F-O-R, 9-11.org. Uh, we support them. We promote them. And as a matter of fact, we're going to promote the living daylights out of them right after 9-11. Uh, we are a marketing campaign. you got to market the uh, truth just like they market lies. As we're doing what John Lennon was doing, remember? Sell peace? Yeah. You know, become the ad. Become the ad. You can do something by becoming an ad for, for peace and for 9-11 truth. And you expose 9-11, you expose everything. Um, you guys, I see some t-shirts. You going to get them on the website? Uh, unfortunately, we were targeted. Okay, what's up, man? I'm sorry. We were targeted, and uh, so they went after our uh, merchant account, PayPal. And uh, so... Like trolls? It could be trolls, it could be, you know, the agencies. I mean, because we're a marketing campaign. The last thing they want us to do is market 9-11 truth, just like they market. There's a contingency of powerful people that don't want people to know the truth. to succeed in people up. That is correct, because if you, like I said, if, as soon as you wake somebody up, their lies, no matter how many billions of dollars they use to, 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 to lie to a person, to convince them that these lies are actually reality, you know, it, it's, no, it's no longer valid. It's no, it doesn't work anymore because they know the truth. And, and, uh, but that's what we need to do. We need to sell the truth. We have no choice. So funny enough, we're in the city of Tampa with the Bank of America building in our background. You know, basically one of the designated Federal Reserve bankers ah, the Fed. to <laughs> assist us people in con 
contracting business here on Main Street USA, which is ironic of many portions. And I'll swing over to the other side. We have a city of Tampa town hall, beautiful 1910 vintage kind of building that they just spent a million dollars cleaning up. Looks beautiful, guys. It's, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And we do have a beautiful downtown. The county building's on the left. We got that at the foreclosure sale. There's a good buy, that copper looking building, the pink one. Right, right, right. So, I mean, there's some smart stuff going on down here in Tampa. But for God's sakes, the last thing we want to do is see buildings collapse to the ground in, in, in free fall. I mean, these are little 50 50 story buildings, which is still pretty big, but Twin Towers, I believe, were 110 stories, if I recall correctly. I, I need to, before I was, I was a uh, marketer, a, a businessman marketer, I was a, a, into construction. And uh, I was a contractor, licensed contractor in New York. And uh, once I saw World Trade Center 7, basically that's what woke me up. And I said, asymmetrical, asymmetrical damage cannot cause symmetrical collapse. It's impossible. Only in cartoons. Only in cartoons. And, but this is supposed to be real life. We, but, but the cabal created a cartoon. This is a Holly, 9-11 was a Hollywood production. And when you see, you know, the, the uh, TSA and you're being frisked, that's part of the illusion to keep up the illusion, yeah. to keep you in fear, you know, and fear is a lie. Fear is a lie. That's why guys like us, we have no fear. This, we're taking a stand. That's right. Tony, appreciate your time. Any final words you want to say to the folks? Uh, well, you know, look into uh, what we're doing, you know, at IamThePatientTruth.com. And we're a marketing campaign. Everybody can use themselves to, yes, to be an ad on social media and so on. And, uh, and, and, and we're supporting the entire truth movement, but it, we're also uniting the well, entire so truth I movement. I have to replace my free Catalonia with I am the face of truth.com on my Facebook picture. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly free right. Catalonia. That's exactly right. They work and we're uniting people from all over the world as we should. I'm going to take a few, don't blink, please. Okay, you ready? Don't blink. Thank you, everyone. Julio, our next coming out, man. Thank you. I invite you. I'm going to see the face. Oh, okay. Just give me liberty, oh give me liberty.